Should you rob Peter to pay Paul in order to supersize and grow your business? I know, weird. My imagination goes strange places some mornings. So today our idiom, our expression for supersize your business, Sharon Hornells from here, is to rob Peter and pay Paul. This is an idiom and it's been around since the 1340s. There's a lot of belief that it was in the Bible, but it wasn't actually in the Bible. I'm gonna grab my magnifying glass so I can tell you the exact reference. John Wycliffe used it and he said, how should I, how should God approve that you rob Peter then give the robbery to Paul in the name of God? Uh, and, or in the name of Christ, excuse me. Don't get my quotes right all the time. It basically alludes to the event, in the, it also is credited with alluding to an event in the 16th century when uh, the cathedral at St. Peter was actually defunct and all the assets were tr stolen from that and it was shut down and I'm not telling this story very well, but you get the idea. And it was all given to St. Paul Cathedral. If you can imagine the uh, church doing anything like that, that's what happened. But the 1340 reference is much older and so it gets credit for being the initiator of the thought and the idea of behind robbing Peter to pay Paul. And basically it means we take money or credit or debt from one place and we use it to take care of a debt we owe in another place. Now, if you're building and growing and supersizing your business, you have to set priorities. You have to decide what needs to be paid first, second, third, etc. when you have limited resources. Of course, if we had all the money and all the resources in the world, we wouldn't have to make these choices and set these priorities and decisions, but we often do. But we have to also consider the consequences of taking from one thing or incurring credit or debt in one area and using it to pay something in another area. I think of some examples of people will use their credit cards to pay off you know, short-term credit cards and they think it's gonna be short-term but it ends up not being short-term because they don't have the resources to pay it back and they end up paying high interest rates in order to pay off uh, like utilities or everyday expenses, which can get you into trouble. It's probably one of the biggest reasons businesses fail is because they mismanage their resources or they use the wrong type resources to cover expenses in other areas. So love to know your experience with this particular idiom. I don't think I've ever said rob Peter to pay Paul. I guarantee I've heard it before. I've heard the expression before. I'm familiar with it. It's not the kind of phraseology I use or the type idiom I use but it is a good idiom and it reminds us of the importance of making choices and decisions that are good for our business so that we can supersize and grow it. Share in the comments below your experience with this idiom and I will be with you tomorrow of course with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to build and grow and supersize your business right now? Have a fantastic day.